Party control of a local school board is not turning out to be a cup of tea, at least not politically. Good evening, everyone. An online petition drive is underway asking three members of the West Claremont School Board to resign. It sponsored the petition by a citizens group called West Claremont United, and about 800 people have signed it. The targeted board members are supported by the Tea Party, and petition or not, there's no way they're going to step down. But as local 12 News reporter Jeff Hurst shows us, this is proof of serious divisions on the board and in the community. Students in the West Claremont School District know there are certain rules you have to follow, like obeying the crossing guard for your own good. Well, these days, you might just need a crossing guard at the West Claremont School Board meetings. There hasn't been a vetting process. Why would you do this? With that itself alone, it's going to save us money. You don't, you don't know, know that. that. That was just part of the battle between the board's new majority, three Tea Party endorsed members, and the two others. If you look at what they're doing, it makes no sense. Business sense, financial sense. It's not best for the kids. It's not best for the teachers, staff. It, we have no idea where this is coming from and what the motivation and the driver is. Take the recent fight over hiring a new school board attorney. The Tea Party is supposed to stand for transparency and fiscal responsibility. But that's not how it looked to some when Tea Party board member Mark Merchant, out of the blue, proposed hiring new legal counsel. I'd like to make a motion to hire Frost Brown, Todd. It, it, it is absolutely absurd that that would come to this floor with no prior discussion and no vetting process. Merchant insisted the new law firm would be cheaper, but he did not know what the board had spent before. And in fact, it looks like the new firm would be more expensive. Frost Brown Todd's contract proposal is for $90,000 a year, plus potential other fees. But the average annual school board legal expense the past three years has been $75,500 annually. The Frost Brown attorney who would handle the West Claremont business is listed as Kevin Maloff. Maloff is also the president of the West Claremont Education Foundation, a fundraising group. And also on the board of that foundation, Tea Party school board members Mark Merchant and Tina Sanborn. This kind of looks like this was some people trying to hire a friend of theirs. Is that what it was? No. No friendships involved. It's strictly a financial scenario where we're trying to get the best legal representation we can for the dollars spent. Superintendent Keith Klein said he was told by a board member to hire Frost Brown Todd. I was asked by a single board member to uh, take a look at Frost Brown and Todd, or actually move to Frost Brown and Todd. Um, I'm sorry, you were given direction to do that? Yes. Yes. Which would be illegal. Only the full board can order such a change, not an individual member. Same problem with a letter from Tea Party board member Jim Lewis to school treasurer Alana Cropper regarding dues payment to the Ohio School Boards Association. The letter tells the treasurer, if you haven't yet paid the dues, please refrain from doing so until we can revisit it at the next board meeting. If you have already paid them, please determine the process for obtaining a refund. Again, only the full board can order that not one member. Lewis told me he sees that and was only seeking information. The reality is there are two factions on this school board, and the Tea Party group has three votes. They control the board. So there are going to be a lot of three to two votes here in the future. And the question is, will those votes be acrimonious? Will they be ugly? Or at least will the debate become a tad more civil? I'm the one that caused the problem. I take full responsibility for it and I'm going to work towards mending those fences. But it still might be a good idea to have a crossing guard nearby. Yet we're supposed to work together. How can we work together when we have actions? Your, your actions speak louder than words. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News.